Seoul is really excited to introduce two new resources to our array of education and support service this year. The first one is a grant through the Community Media Access Collaborative uh, to provide video production uh, training to our students, which includes the uh, filming, editing, and production of media. The second one is a program called Classroom Connections, where we have taken choice theory and integrated it into the classroom. So for 30 minutes every week, our students meet to discuss conflict resolution, communication skills, and problem solving skills. Another program we're continuing this year is our computer literacy and web development program that we started last year where we have partnered with local professionals to come in and help our students learn computer programming and basic computer skills. A program we initiated last year that we're excited about continuing in this year is our street law program in partnership with Central California Legal Services. Our students are participating in field trips and end the year with a mock trial that's um, performed in Judge Corona's chambers. One of the um, innovative projects that we currently are working on is the Starting Smart and Strong Fresno project. It focuses on dual language and incorporating it in the classroom. Another project that we're working on is our Growing Readers Calendar with the Family Literacy Project that promotes daily reading to children and literacy um, with young children and their families. Early Head Start is currently involved in the Talk, Read, Sing project, Talking is Teaching. Many parents are not intuitive about the fact that young children learn through interaction, and talking and reading and singing to your baby provides lots of interactive stimulation. The comprehensive sex ed is a very sensitive subject, but it's also a very interesting subject for our youth. We're able to talk to the kids about HIV, STD. Most importantly, we talk to them about healthy relationships, substance abuse and clinical linkages to provide them with further information so that they can make the best decisions that they can to ensure their sexual health. The innovative project that the Employment and Training Services Department is currently working on as it relates to education is computer literacy uh, instruction as well as programming and coding. We have a group of young people that are involved in this training in order to increase their skill level in these areas. Uh, we're also working on and we uh, launched our year-round youth internship program. Those are paid uh, opportunities throughout the community that our youth are now involved in. We are working on three projects right now that all are uh, related to early learning. So one is focused on math and what they are doing is replicating research that has already been done but they are doing it with totally a population of low-income children to see if what the research showed previously is also true of low-income children. The second one is a collaboration between Fresno Unified, the Central Valley Children's Services Network, and Head Start and Early Head Start, and it is being funded by the Packard Foundation. And its focus is on dual language learning. How do you support their home language as well as teach them English simultaneously? And then the last one, we are just ready to start. It hasn't started yet. We are doing a coaching model pushed by the Office of Head Start. They really like it. And it is focused on teachers and the class instrument, which is one of the instruments that grade how well a teacher is interacting with students. And so that coaching model is being looked at by Fresno State. And they are um, looking at the strategies that the coaches use with the teachers and which, co which strategies have the best outcomes. <music>